Mario down throw combos that lead to KOs are not true at 0%, but at slightly higher percents, you should avoid getting grabbed or be ready to DI for ladder combos. If you cross up Donkey Kong's shield with an aerial, do a crouch, this way he cannot back air out a shield. ZSS can explode Link's bomb by hitting it with side special. Zero Suit Nair and Zare both beat charge shot when it is less than half charge, and lose to it when it is past half charge. Both also beat Samus Bomb. Yoshi has double jump armor, but it is not immune to footstool, which Zero Suit is particularly good at hitting due to her amazing jump height. If you get inhaled by Kirby, you can buffer flip jump to avoid getting footstooled or down aired on release and potentially reverse the situation. If Fox is forced to up B vertically, Zero Suit can consistently trade using down air. When Pikachu pancakes without spacing their aerials, you can footstool punish out of shield. The multi hits give you more time to decide if you should or should not based on the spacing. Luigi players often do short hop fair into falling nair to cover space in neutral and potentially convert into combos. If you parry the nair, you can boost kick, and if you react fast enough, you can forward air before the nair comes out. If you get hit by Ness PK Fire, you can jab through the hitbox if he gets close enough due to Zero Suit having a frame 1 jab. If you're enjoying this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and comment which character you want more tips to learn how to fight. By intentionally getting hit by Falcon up B, you can tech jump fair or boost kick as a punish. Due to her being so floaty, Jigglypuff gets Zare back air comboed at almost any reasonable percent. Peach and Daisy have a fast dash attack that can punish underneath Zare. In these spacings, it is best to use Nair. Bowser's tech rolls are some of the worst in the game. Down smash to cover neutral tech will almost always work if spaced properly. When hitting Nana, she does not DI or air dodge combos, so you can do untrue combos that still work. Sheik up B is vulnerable on startup, which means you can hit her if you know she has to up B. Zelda is a floaty character with horrible options for landing. Use this while juggling and respect the neutral B. Dr. Mario pills get beat by Zare, but they bounce higher depending on the height he throws them. Pichu up B has no hitbox. If they recover on stage, you can intercept with bigger hitbox moves like side B or up smash. If you position like you are going to down smash the ledge, Falco players like to do a high side B. You can intercept with an upward angle F tilt and turn it into a down smash punish on the up B or side B after that. You can trade with Marth and Lucina up B by using down air. If you time a spot dodge at the end of Young Link grounded up B, you can get a guaranteed punish every time. Ganon gets hard camped by Zero Suit's Zare and mobility. When he is on ledge, use Zare ledge trapping to keep a distance from burst options or his command grab while making it extremely difficult to get off the ledge. Due to Mewtwo having such a large hurt box, the Nair flip kick percent window is very large. Roy and Krom jab is punishable by fair out of shield. Down tilt is not, however. Zero Suit is one of the few characters that can consistently punish Game & Watch up B out of shield. It's easiest to do with up air, but you can get a back air. Meta Knight can punish Zero Suit down smash the ledge harder than most characters, so save it for when they know you are ready to punish Dimensional Cape and choose a regular option. Pit and Dark Pit can be grabbed through Orbiters, due to her tether grab. ZSS Falling Zare loses to a higher up ZSS Falling Zare. If Wario Bike is positioned at the ledge, you can use it to extend the Down Smash hitbox to make timing Down Smash easier. The two easiest moves to hit Snake out of Cypher are Back Air and Flip Kick. If Ike uses Double Jump Side B off stage to recover, use Zare to force a low recovery. Squirtle Withdraw loses to both Paralyzer and Down Smash. 
If Ivysaur recovers horizontally using up B, you can catch it with a Plasma Whip. If Charizard does not have the room to space aerials, they are all punishable out of shield. Diddy Kong's banana pull animation is 39 total frames, which is how long it takes before he can move again. You should stay at a range in which you can react to this animation in order to pressure him to either risk the pull or force him to play without the banana. Lucas struggles at hitting characters that are diagonally above him in meaningful ways. Zero Suit can use platforms or her full hop to force Lucas to commit to an option that is high risk, low reward. Sonic Spin Dash has invincibility frames on its release. A common ZSS mistake is zaring the startup and losing the interaction, taking big damage and losing stage control. Instead, wait out the charge or charge cancel and attempt to hit what he does after. Learn to time the two frame down smash on DDD up B. The counterplay to this, if they have to go low, is to up B past the ledge. In this case, find the best optimal punishes for hitting him after he lands, while also avoiding the hitbox. Pay attention to the Pikmin lineup and be ready to defensively fare when he throws white or yellow Pikmin. Due to Lucario's aura being a threat at higher percents, you should do your best to take early stocks using setups like Nair Flip Kick or reads on opponent's habits. You can Flip Kick Rob Laser on reaction. For a bonus tip, at low percents you can mash jab out of Rob's down tilt spam. Toon Link does not have the best landing options. Pressure him if he tries to pull bomb in the air and stay out of range of down air. Wolf likes to trade or land aggressively when getting juggled. If a wolf commits to a double jump nair, then whiff punish it with up air or up smash. Villager's Lloyd Rocket and Slingshot Aerials only cover specific jump heights. Learn where it is safer to exist and punish if they overcommit. Mega Man players will set traps underneath the Angel platform. To avoid this, stay on the platform unless you know they aren't going to use Crash Bomb or Rush Coil. When a Wii Fit Trainer uses Soccer Ball from the ledge, Zero Suit Side B will hit them and the ball, doing tons of damage and knockback. Rosalina has a large hurt box and is very light and floaty. This is the perfect matchup to use Zare for combos and confirms. But before thinking about this, learn the best way to KO Luma, weighing the risk and reward for the options you choose in advance. When getting juggled, Little Mac players like to use the Super Armor on Neutral B to tank any hits while landing. This can be broken by using Bear and Flip Kick only. Greninja is a short and quick character. This makes it very difficult for ZSS to hit him with any attacks, but her downward angle F tilt is a very strong option to discourage grounded approaches due to him having horrible out of shield options. His fall speed and light weight also force him into horrible tech chase scenarios because his rolls are terrible. If Palu commits to an auto reticle or explosive flame, Zero Suit can true flip kick punish due to both moves having long cooldown frames. You can grab Pac-Man through Hydrant due to Zero Suit having a tether grab. You can also use the water pushback to combo in creative and sometimes lethal ways. You can crawl under every one of Robin's thunder charges on reaction and reactively flip jump them for using arc fire. You can punish high backslash recoveries by running under and boost kicking. When Bowser Jr. uses Clown Cart, he has super armor on his body, but not on his head. ZSS can short hop fair to break him out of it. Use Zare against Can to hit it back at Duck Hunt. Zaring as a ledge trap can be very useful to discourage Hadokens from the ledge. You can also short hop over both Hadokens in neutral. If Ken does a Shoryuken that hits through the stage, you can down smash or down air his fist hurtbox. If Cloud does not snap ledge, you can parry into downward angle F tilt to get a KO when he does not have a double jump. When you get in advantage versus Corrin, transition into horizontal punishes due to her nair being a very strong tool for landing and reversals. Bayo's ABK is a very strong anti-air tool, but it does not hit Zero Suit if she crouches in neutral, and she must commit to slower, more reactable options. If you get the lead versus Bayo, always make her approach you as the matchup becomes much harder for her. Inkling Roller can always be punished with up smash or boost kick out of shield. Ridley's up B is limited to one of four specific angles, which makes his recoveries predictable and susceptible to down airs and flip kicks. Also use Zare and Fair to force awkward diagonal recoveries. Do not get between Simon or Richter and their crosses, as it can lead to huge setups. You can also use Zare as an edgeguard tool to bump them out of their tether range. Flip Kick is the best tool to break crown armor. You can use the tip of side B to explode Lloyd Mine. 
If Incineroar revenges a Paralyzer at a distance, you can True Punish with Grab most of the time. When Piranha Plant uses Neutral B while landing, do not try and punish with Zare. You can run in the blind spot right next to him and punish with Disjoints. Two framing Joker's Tether is either impossible or very difficult, because I have never done it. If you can force Arsene Joker to up B to ledge, you can two frame with down smash way easier and can use it as a win condition. When Hero runs to the corner to use menu, pressure from a diagonal as the unreactable spells only hit in a horizontal line. You can grab Banjo through Wonder Wing. If Terry uses Crack Shoot in the air, he can no longer use Burning Knuckle until he lands. Use this information when positioning to edge guard. If Byleth falls on your shield with Nair, you can punish with Footstool out of shield. Be ready to angle shield up if they have hit your shield before this. All of Min Min's arms have item priority, which means we can zare through them. You can use side B through blocks to pressure Steve to space away from the blocks while mining. You can use aerial lag cancels on blocks to do creative combos. You can flip kick behind Octoslash and kick his back to get early KOs. If you parry any hit of Mithra Nair while she is above you, you can punish with up tilt through the multi hits due to having 3 frames of invincibility after the parry and up tilt coming out on frame 3. Bait aggressive nares from Pyro when juggling and up smash or do a falling up air. Her air speed is slow so if she fast fall nares you can tell where she will land every time. Down tilt low profiles electric. Sora has bad speed and approach options. You can force him to approach on the ground by using rising zares. This stuffs approaches and outranges his disjoints. 